Hi, so we're in the barn today. Um, my son purchased this KTM Duke 125. Uh, he bought it as a non-runner, but he's actually got it running now. Uh, but he's brought it up for me to have a look at because it's not charging the battery. Uh, when you start it up, um, the voltage remains the same. So what we'll do is we'll connect the test meter up. We'll just double check what it's doing and uh, hopefully we can repair it. So I've got the test meter connected up to the battery. And currently we're reading about 12.38 volts. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll start it up if, uh, and figure out how to do it. I think this button here is to start it. Right, so I mean, uh, I'll just switch that off a sec. So the battery should jump up to about 13.8 or so if it's uh, charging, because we need more than 12 volts to actually charge a 12 volt battery. So let's uh, investigate. So I've got the Milwaukee uh, work light that I previously repaired in a, a different video that we're going to use to help uh, illuminate the scene here. And if we look down here, what we've got. Uh, in this part of the engine, I believe there's a stator coil which then comes up here via this wire. That's the uh, the output of the stator coil which then runs up into, you can just see that unit there which is a rectifier regulator box. And what that does, that takes the AC from the uh, alternator or magneto or whatever you want to call it here up through these wires into this box here it then gets changed from AC into DC and regulated to the correct voltage to charge the battery um, there's only two wires come out of this box uh, one of them is this wire here this uh, red one or these two red ones here which just connect to one wire which then goes off back to the uh, the battery over here and there's a black wire which just connects to the frame so that's just basically a ground so what we've got in effect we've got these three wires come in which are the AC and a black and red one that come out one goes to the frame and the red one goes to the battery and that's the DC side of it so uh, we'll get the test meter on and uh, we'll see uh, if we can find any shorts or what exactly is going on and it's just started raining quite heavily here, so you might get a little bit noise here now. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to check that uh, we've actually got power going from here to the battery. So we should have 12 volts if I measure from here, just to a ground there. If I can get the wires on properly, there we go. So yeah, 12.3. So we know that that's connected to the battery. So... We either not, so I think it's either this uh, regulator or the um, or the magneto or alternator or whatever you want to call it down in the bottom there. Right, so let's uh, have a look at this. Right, so these ones obviously go down to the coils at the bottom. Let's just check uh, what resistance we've got, just to see if any of them's open circuit. So we should get a quite a low resistance between each one of these. Uh, what we've got on those two here. What we've got on those ones. About the same. And about the same. Right. Let's uh, try between ground or plus and these three connections here just in case the rectifier is shorted out. So if I go into diode mode, and let's try between the frame first, and we'll see if there's any shorts between here. And this one, doesn't appear to be any shorts, let's try between that way. Yeah, we've got a voltage drop of about 0.6 there, which seems about right, and we'll just try the next one along. That seems about right. And on the last one, yeah, so it appears the diodes in this uh, rectifier are actually okay. I mean, whether the regulator inside's okay after that, I don't know. 
Um, I don't know what the resistance of those coils are supposed to be, but that looks quite low to be quite honest with you. So I think what we might do next is uh, try and remove this side casing down here and we'll have a look at the coils to see uh, what condition that they're in. So to get access to the stator, it looks like we need to remove these one, two, three, four. Used to, well, it's supposed to be five Allen key bolts around here, and then there's eight, I think they're about eight mil bolts around the outside, so we'll get on with that. I've just noticed there, it looks uh, like that wire's been incorrectly rooted because uh, I don't think that's supposed to be rubbing on the chain like that so it's a good job uh, I've taken that cover off like I said, it looks like somebody's had that off before but that's been rubbing on the chain there so it wouldn't be long before that uh, wore through and caused problems Alright, so that's all the bolts removed. Alright, so I've got a screwdriver here. I'm going to see if I can use that to uh, try and get this case off somehow. There we go, move it a little bit there. Slowly, and the cog just fell out. Right, which way did that go? Well, it's got big teeth on, and that's got big teeth, so I reckon it went in like that. Right, right. I think uh, that might be the problem. I'll just uh, bring the camera a bit over here. So yeah, I'm just looking at the state of those coils there. So I would say that that's uh, burned out that. Those ones over here look okay. I'd say those ones look burnt out. So I think uh, we need to get a replacement of one of those. So we shall order one of those and a new gasket by the look of it. And uh, then I'll be back. Right, so the new stator coil has arrived. It looks a bit uh, better condition than the old one. So we'll uh, remove the old one, which looks like it's held in place with this uh, nut here, which is an eight mil. And then uh, I've got an Allen key already sized up. So let's see if we can undo this nut. So you see a little bolt that. Let's put that to one side and then we'll undo these. Right, so that's the uh, that's the old one out there. Right, so let's see about that orientation by the look of the old one. See if we can get these uh, bolts in the right place. There's one in the right place. Now we've got this little uh, cable retainer thing to go back on. Just check we're not uh, jamming any wires. Now I'm going to get a Stanley knife and remove this old gasket. We'll clean uh, this surface up 
and we'll do the same on the engine before we put the new gasket on. So I'm just going to use a standing knife plate here and uh, remove the old gasket. A few moments later. Right, so I've cleaned all of the uh, old gasket off. But what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of this uh, gasket paste just to hold the gasket in place just while uh, we reassemble it on the bike because uh, I've got a bit of a habit of moving around so I'm just going to just put a little bit just here and there just to hold it slightly You just put a couple of these bolts in just to uh, make sure it's lined up. Now we'll uh, refit it on the bike. Right, that seems to be about it. Just uh, tighten a few of these screws up slightly. Now, one thing that we should do is have a look at that uh, reroute this cable that I noticed that was damaged. So I think I'll do that. Actually, if I put this cover back on, I forgot about that. Yeah, this connector here, I'm just trying to undo that one so I can uh, reboot this cable around the back of there and put a cable tie on it or something. Right, so after a bit of persuasion, I managed to get that apart. So I'm going to reroute this one around the back of here. And uh, we'll cable tie it so that it's not in the way of the uh, chain. Right, so I'm back with a cable tie. Try and fish this round the back here. behind the frame so like that so there's no chance of that getting there uh, caught up on anything now and I think we'll cable tie that to the frame there as well Right, just a case of tightening everything back up now. Just need to reroute this cable up through behind the exhaust here so it doesn't burn. Up behind this pipe and then uh, just needs plugged into the connector. that wire up so it's not going to burn on the exhaust off the excess 
and I think that should be us done. So now just to give it a test. Right, so I've got the uh, test meter hooked up to the battery again, and it's 12.26. Uh, let's uh, fire it up and see what it does now then. switch that off so yeah I think uh, we we'll fixed it so yeah all good right if you enjoyed this video please give it the thumbs up if you want to see more like it please subscribe any comments or questions please leave it in the comments section below and as always have a great day thanks for watching